Hey everybody, welcome to a Retro Blist video. And as you can already tell from the quality, we are normally an audio-only podcast. I have a face for podcasting, which is why I'm going to hide up here for most of the video. But check out Retro Blist wherever you get podcasts. We cover retro games from NES, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Master System, um... And pocket games, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Game Gear. We'll occasionally throw in an Atari game, uh, Dreamcast, N64. I mean, we pretty much hit it all. And um, today I wanted to do a little unboxing for some toys I picked up. I got these from EntertainmentEarth.com, but I see they now have them at Amazon.com for the same price. These are, of course... Metal Slug 3 Toys Pullback Car Series, which is exactly what they are. Pullback Cars. So random, not what I expected to find at all, but here we are. So, let's go ahead and just tilt this down some so you don't have to see any of my ugly face. Try to get the... <laughs> this is why we don't usually do videos on Retro Bliss, but I wanted to do this. Unboxing. So... These are $24.99. It is four pullback toys. Um, I love the Metal Slug series. We've covered Metal Slug X and Metal Slug Advance on the Retro Blessed podcast. And so I just wanted to show you guys these. So there's some pictures. They're made by Beast Kingdom. Uh, two, so that side's playing. The back of the box has better pictures of what's inside. These look like they're meant to sell individually, but I don't even know if you can buy them individually, but I wanted the whole box in any case. So I have broke this seal and I've opened one of them, but the other three I've not opened at all. So let's go ahead and dig in here. $24.99, free shipping on Amazon.com, or you can head to Entertainment Earth, which is like the, I guess the official store. Uh, but I love the way they've done these. So inside, you got all four toys are individually boxed. Just very cool looking. I love how they did this. And it looks like the box itself is meant, if you want to, to be ripped or like scored along the sides and along the top. I'm guessing you can make a display stand. So maybe that means these are meant to sell individually in stores if you want to. I'm not sure, but just one option you can do there. Let's just go and open these up. I'll start with one I did already open. Try and get it out. <laughs> and they're pretty tight. They did not waste space in this box. Come on now. Come on. There we go. So here we have the... It lists all the ones on the side. This is the SVH03 Slug. Sorry, that's the copter. This is obviously the SV001 Metal Slug. The titular Metal Slug. And it has all the ones listed on the box. And the back of the box shows you it's a pullback toy. It's, uh, of course, an officially licensed SNK product. SNK Funiverse, it says. Made in China, one piece. Um, licensed from Beast Kingdom in Taiwan. This is age 15 and up. So this pullback toy is for ages 15 and up. So I guess that right there shows why... Um, I don't know, 15 and up, that makes no sense. There's no small parts. I guess just, it's going to be 15 and up who are interested in a metal slug toy. I guess that's what it is. Um, yeah, here we go. So I did already open this one, but they just got cut along the flap, or you can rip it open either way. But And then inside is a little plastic bag snipped along the top here. And this is the metal slug itself. Pretty cool. Um, I mean, it is just a pullback toy. It's not like super heavyweight, but it's also not like a cheap dollar store pullback toy. I mean, it's it's got a little quality to it. And I did already test this one out. See, the bottom has just got, you know, four wheels. Says SNK on the bottom. That's actually all it says on the bottom is just SNK. 
I don't know why it's not focusing at all. Probably because I'm recording on a phone and I don't do YouTube. But very surprised. In fact, this is probably going to hit something. So let's put that. Uh, that won't work because that blocks your view completely. Here. Okay. I tried to say how impressive it was. Let me pull it back a little further. I'm there. Clearly going all the way off the camera. Let's try it this way. <laughs> yeah, it can really go. Pretty impressive little pullback toy. They are individually painted, or at least they appear to be. <clears throat> Pretty good detail for a pullback toy. Good enough to display, which is exactly what I'm going to do. But I'm here to open up all of these for you. Let's see, what should we pick next? Well, there's two flying vehicles and two land vehicles. So let's pick one of the flying vehicles. Let's go ahead and do the copter. The SVH03 Slug Copter. I'm going to overdo it a little bit with the pocket knife here. A little bit hard to get into, actually. I don't know if I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> It's a harder to get into than I expected. It might honestly be easier just to tear it. I don't know at this point. I did not expect it to be this hard to get into. Huh. Well, <laughs> the first one open was not this hard. I don't know what's going on. All right, it's getting there. Didn't open as easy as I'd hoped, but it's getting there. Now try not to completely shred the box, because I think the boxes are cool, but I'm about to give up on that notion, because it's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. There we go, yeah, I know I get it eventually. So, kind of a messy opening, but that's all right. Once you cut the top, then the rest just uh, has flaps here that you can fold out. And inside you got a plastic bag. Nothing else in there. All right. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to roll because it only has two wheels. But there we go. Let's see if I can... The slug copter. <laughs> I'll be interested if this tips over or what, because it's only got two wheels on the bottom, unlike the metal slug. But I like the, the mini gun on each side and the the uh the small blade on the back, which I don't know what the name of it is. <laughs> Sorry, not a, not like a helicopter expert by any means, but let's see. I'm sure this one books it as well. Whoa! <laughs> I was wondering how this was going to go in a straight line, and I think maybe the answer is it doesn't. Let's try again, though. Let's see. Clear off the line a little bit here. Okay, I guess that's what this one does. It is a helicopter. Maybe that's what it's supposed to do. I mean, I guess it would have to be what it does with only two wheels. I mean, yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's just what it does. That's hilarious. I didn't expect that. All right. We're going to set these here. Let's see what we got next. Go ahead and do the SVF07V. I always read the wrong one. <laughs> the Top 2 AFV DICOKKA. DICOKKA. I'll be honest, I love Play Metal Slug. I didn't realize what some of these vehicles were named. But this is, of course, an enemy vehicle, an enemy tank. 
Let's see if I can figure out how to open this one better. What did I do wrong? Maybe I'll start from here. Yeah. Yeah. Much better. Wow, that opens so easy. So pro tip, if you get these, stick it in from here, from the side, not from the front like I did. Opens so easy. I'll figure this out by the fourth one. Much easier opening. Open up this. This looks like a, like a MRE meal, like a military meal. These packages do. All right, and inside we have <laughs> a really solid looking daikaka. Is that right? Is that really what it's called? The daikaka? We're probably saying that way wrong. D I C O K K A. Really, the details above and beyond for pullback vehicle. I mean, 25 bucks for four of them is probably more than you expect to pay for like just a generic kid's toy. But for me, being a metal slug officially licensed toy is just super cool. Um, so I have no problem with the price, you know, shipping included, especially. I assume this one will go in a straight line like the metal slug. Oh yeah, oh, <laughs> they actually pick up speed as they go. It's pretty cool, honestly. It would go all the way across this table if I had it cleared off. I just don't have room to show you. They're pretty impressive pullback functions. So there's that one. That just leaves one more. Now we know how to open them. This should be easy. I guess I wasn't really showing you the box on those. Sorry about that. But they're all the same on all the sides except the front. And I showed you the front of all of them at the start of the video. So the other sides are the same on all these. They all show the same thing on the back even. It's just the front that's different. So you know exactly what's in there. Now, I think I figured this out. Let's try to do this one just as easily. Yep, got to get right in there. All right, I just said I figured it out. I'm proving myself wrong here. Oh, yeah. That one simply opened easier than the others. That's just all there is to it. But there it is. And inside, of course. You know, blind boxes are cool. It adds to the excitement a little bit, but I would much rather actually know that I'm getting all four different ones. So I love that they did it this way. I mean, for 25 bucks, they're expensive enough already. At least you know you're getting all four. <laughs> um, I really do prefer that. Is Even though blind boxes have a certain juvenile charm to them that I'm not immune to, but you know, I think this is the better way to do it. This might be one of my favorite ones. Oh, sorry. This is the SVF07V Slug Flyer. Try to hold this where I don't block half of it. Really like the way this one looks. You got the guns, the mini guns, the missiles. I bet you this one's going to spin in circles, though, just like the helicopter. Because, again, there's only two wheels and then this false wheel at the front. This this one feels chunky. Even compared to the other ones, it just feels chunky. Really, really like the way this one looks. Really like the way they all look. Let's give this one a try, but I bet it's going to spin in circles. Okay, this one goes straight as a bullet. What in the world? <laughs> wow, yes. No problems with this one. I wish I had this more clear off so I could show you better exactly what these things can do. They are very impressive. They're like this is coming, it came all the way back to me when I picked it up and turned it around. Very cool. Let's see if I can, so here's the two flying vehicles. See if I can manage this. Two land vehicles. All four, they got good heft to them. For for plastic pullback toys, they're a bit higher quality than what you'd normally get for just a plastic pullback toy. But they are still toys. Like, they're not 
I mean, for 25 bucks for four, they're not like highly, highly detailed miniatures, but they're pretty well detailed, honestly, and feel pretty solid. So I would say, I feel the value is fair. I, I like them a lot. Um, and I plan to display them out like this. The boxes are cool, but the boxes will go back in here. And honestly, they look pretty cool even empty. I'll show you. There. Let's put that one up there. And there. So now you still have your cool box with these <laughs> with these inside. Pretty cool looking. Really honestly like these a lot. Um, I really do. So there they are. Uh, Amazon.com. Look for a metal slug pullback toy or look for Beast Kingdom. That's the brand they are. They're Beast Kingdom. Metal Slug, Pullback, uh, EntertainmentEarth.com, shipped these to me as soon as they became available. I actually had them pre-ordered. I also got a statue from them for $39.99. That's, um, you know what? I'm not going to do a separate video on that, so I'll just go and show you. Here's a big bonus. This thing is awesome. I mean, this is 40 bucks, so it's obviously more substantial than the Pullback toys. I think it's well worth it. Look at that thing. Here, put it against my blue shirt. Of course, you got the metal slug with a bullet in air, which is awesome. It's on a rickety bridge. It's got like a, a smoke explosion behind it with bullets actually trailing, which is pretty much always happening in metal slug. It's like on a wet, muddy... It's, it's floating on barrels on a bridge, so there's like wet, muddy water underneath, and it's actually got a little bit of a transparent style to it. It says Metal Slug 3 right there. The whole thing's sitting on a, a barrel or maybe a, like a rim, like a tire rim. It's just, it's hefty, it's chunky. It would make a decent paperweight. Um, really looks good from both sides. I think the best angle is like where you can kind of see the dynamic pose. Uh, just really good looking. For size comparison, here is the exact same vehicle, right? Yeah, same model, I do believe. So let's compare. Here, one of the pullback toys compared to, you know, obviously a much bigger vehicle. Very impressive. If you're a huge Metal Slug fan, I really recommend this. Again, it's from Beast Kingdom, EntertainmentEarth.com. This is also up for pre-order pre on Amazon for the same $39.99. Entertainment Earth already shipped mine. It's still listed as pre-order on Amazon, so you should be able to get it from either place. But there we go. Some cool Metal Slug toys. Thanks for watching. Check out Retro Bliss Podcast. You won't see this face because it's audio only, and that is a blessing.